What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. Today's video we're going to continue working on the camper trailer. Um, so we've actually got the hubs that need to be painted because they're starting to surface rust. So I should have done that in the video that we fitted them. Um, but that's alright, so we're going to do that and we're going to add some uh, extra shelves to the top. So we're going to sheet that in and put some hinges and latches on there, so that'll be good. Well, let's get to it. so much better painted black the other side come up really neat too all done there probably better this side actually it's not any runs in it and i've even fixed the led strip on this side so i just put a new led strip on it's all powered up and even added up one here so you can see at night when you go to switch all the control panel and plug your phone in for the radio factory edge here and up the top um, and just the cut edge down the bottom so you don't see that part but that just goes to show how much um, warpage the trailer gets after a few years um, so that's that side and there's that side so I'll we'll put a speaker on each side on that part on the end so that'll be good and then just this gap here I didn't have the sheets long enough but it will be all right to have that open. What we might do is we'll sheet both ends in and then put some shelves in up the top and maybe some um, elastic at the front so the stuff can't fall out that's in there. And that way you can still talk to someone if they're on the other side. Yeah, we'll get to putting these speakers in and cut out some shelf holes. Alrighty guys, so that looks really good. We've got the speakers in, um, we've got both sides in now. So I've decided to just go one big door on this side because the tent goes out the other way, so there's sort of no point having um, cabinet space over there. So yeah, we're gonna put in a nice door. This is all be um, lined in marine carpet. 
So yeah, and I reckon we've got some super bright LEDs, so like this strip's a bit brighter than these ones. So I'll whack those inside, so when you open it up, I might even put a little uh, switch on there so they come on automatically. But um, yeah, well, it's getting late on us guys, so we'll catch you guys in the morning. Alright guys, this is the next day here. Um, we're just going to jump straight into it and continue working on that shelf. So I've cut a door out and got some um, hinges for it, so let's put them on. Alrighty guys, there we are, I have that in place now. It's got some blocks of wood at the back there to support it. The bottom is still a little bit flimsy, but um, we're gonna have to put some supports on, along the inside. As you can see there, I've added a bit of a micro switch to turn LED strip on on the inside. So as soon as you open up this door, which I do need to fit a handle to, it'll trigger that switch and turn the lights on inside. Um, yeah, so the next step, we're going to add this uh, water pump I picked up. So this is, was just about $25 on eBay. Um, had to go in and get some adapters to adapt to our original hose, 13 mil hose. But yeah, so we get to put that in. It might be a bit of a tight fit in there, but let's see how it goes. So there's the pump mounted up. Um, it is a bit of a stuff around because the pump's fittings were a lot longer and I probably should have gotten some 90 degree bends. But anyway, there it is. Um, ideally, we would have moved the water outlet probably to over here. So it would have been in line, the pump, and I really did want a water filter in there, but we might just have to live with it for now. Um, I've run out of hose clamps, so we can't test it today. But what we might do is get to wiring up the dual batteries. I've got some, um, six bns cable and some crimps so we'll get to that all right guys so here's our battery terminals so what we're going to be doing is wiring the batteries in parallel so we'll use the earth terminal of battery number one and the positive terminal of battery number two to help drain the batteries evenly and that's that'll be all of our loads our fridge our radio our lights everything will be wired up like that even the air compressor um, so we've actually got 8 BNS cable, not 6 BNS, so we'll join those together. So I've went and got a set of crimpers um, just to make up the cable. So we'll just start off by looking at how much length we need. So we roughly need to go from the negative terminal of that battery Second strip insulation back, both ends. All right, then we grab our terminals, feed those on the end of the cable, just like so. Our terminal crimped on nice and solid you can't rip that off so we'll do the same with the other side all right that's good we've got the seven mil split tree That on. Tighten that up. 
body of it in there. I'll just feed it over the end so that the steel part doesn't get through the heat shrink when we put that on. So this will sort of protect that over the top. Feed this over just to protect the loom in case anything ever fell on it. And I will be making another earth strap to bolt to the trailer so that we don't have to keep running a power and earth to the battery. Just saves a bit of wire for us. Soldering iron, I'll just take the end off and make the blowtorch. Alright guys, there you have it, there's one cable made, so we'll just screw our terminals on to the ends, make sure we've got the right terminal. These terminals are post specific, so the negative terminal is always bigger on the battery post, uh, smaller sorry, on the battery post, and the positive is bigger, so you got to make sure you get that around the right way. Alright, so we've got those connected together now in parallel. So what we're going to get is, we're still going to get 12 volts, but we'll get twice the amps. If we had it done it in series, we'd get 24 volts, but we'd um, get half the amps. So these are only car batteries for now, but I will be getting deep cycle batteries once everything's all up. But I just got these from work. Um, so, yeah, let's put, I reckon what we'll do now is probably put an earth from here down to the frame so that'll save us from running cable and then all of our positive feeds will come off this battery here so then they'll both evenly drain when we got load on there so let's get to it So the cables are all run there now. We've put the earth strap down to the frame of the trailer, so that's good. Um, this switch panel that I put on, I think oh, it might have been two videos ago, um, that's got its own fuse holders on the back, but I'd rather use this sort of inline one because you just run one main power cable and just put your, um, your accessories off the side. And if one fuse does blow, these LEDs uh, do illuminate so you can sort of diagnose the circuit pretty easy and it's got the lid for the fuse box and you can sort of write your diagram on there so let's get to mounting that goes from the batteries all the way up. I'm going to P-clip it underneath or probably just bring it in through the back of this radio panel and then 
um, hook it up to this. So. Alright, so there's the cable all mounted up. Just use the P clips, rattle it through. It's come in through the steel behind there, around to the front. I'll show you the battery side. So it's come down and around, loops down the bottom onto the positive terminal. So we're draining the batteries evenly now. Um, the last thing that we're going to add today is radio antenna. So I picked one of these up about 20 bucks. So we're going to put that on the top. Um, but we do have a beam running in the middle um, on the inside, so we're gonna have to probably put it on the radio side, so it's gonna look a little bit off center, but it's not, not much we can do about that. All right, guys, that's gonna be a wrap for today's video. Um, thanks for watching. If you like the video, give it a thumbs up. Consider subscribing. Um, in the next video, we're gonna continue working on the radio, so we'll wire that up in the fuse box. Um, we'll do some more on the shelving and the LED strips in there and wire up that little uh, door switch. Um, definitely jump over to Instagram for Inside Scoop before YouTube. I post a lot there, so head on to that. The link down in the description. Um, yeah, we'll see you in the next video.